Hi guys, I'm going to be teaching you how to do the show makeup. I'll go into detail and everything. Um, to start off, you always want to start off with having like a clean face. So wash your face before and put moisturizer on and everything and get your ha hair out of your face. So I always start off with a primer. There's a lot of different options. The main thing to remember is if you have a silicone based foundation have a silicone based primer and if you have a water based foundation have a water based primer if you don't know what that means you can just look up is my foundation brand and put the brand there water based or silicone based but it makes a big difference because if not it'll just peel off um for primer i go in with the elf poreless um face primer i don't have like the putty version but whatever and i only put this or i'll get like pores or whatever Again, like I said, you guys can use any primer that you need to. But I highly recommend, even though I do use that one first, always go in with a sticky primer after. I use the e.l.f. Power Grip one. This one's actually really good. Um, and it's water-based, so yeah. I really like this one. It makes it last all day. If you use this one, just look up how to use it because it's kind of confusing. Anyways, so I put that primer all over my face. I'm going to try to do this fast because for some reason I can't pause on um, these kinds of videos, so whatever. If this was boring, I'm really sorry. Okay, anyways, after it's completely rubbed in the face, again, this is after I wash my face and put moisturizer on or whatever, I'm going to take a um, foundation. I use the Juvia's Place um, velvety matte foundation this one's really full coverage and honestly you're gonna need that so obviously make sure that you match your foundation to your skin tone also make sure that you're matching it to like the undertone so like if you have a yellow undertone you don't want to be using one something that has like i don't know like a peach undertone like it's a difference you have to look at it so you can either use a brush or a beauty blender to blend this i use both so i'll take this and i'll just start like putting it on my face for both a brush and a beauty blender, you don't want to swipe. You just want to like kind of tap into place. It makes a big difference. I know this is like really specific, but trust me, it helps. Also, I swear it matches me. Not only is it the lighting, but I'll fix it in a second. So anyways, after I just like briefly do that, I take a beauty blender to make it more even. I really wish there was a way I could pause this because it's just kind of awkward. But anyways, I don't know what to tell you guys in the meantime. Hopefully you guys can skip like ahead when I send this. If not, that's just kind of, anyways. How y'all doing? Good, good, nice to hear. Okay, anyways, once it's like pretty much blend it in like that or whatever, you're going to want to take a concealer. Your concealer should be two shades, a shade to two shades lighter than your foundation. I use the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour full wear one. And you're just going to want to put it here and here. This is like, yeah. So like I said, a shade or two lighter than your real foundation. And you're gonna tap this in all under your eye. Make sure you're not like dragging it everywhere. I keep it under the eye, bring it down just a little bit and then bring it up across your temple like that. Yeah. I've been doing this for like years because of dance. So like, I don't know. It takes practice. So don't get upset guys if you don't get it like perfectly on your first try um so yeah if you just gonna blend that or whatever then i take you're gonna want to set your face with powder i have the maybelline fit me powder like the loose finishing powder make sure it's a loose powder if it's pressed just make sure it's not a foundation powder because that's going to make it look really cakey I'll just take a little bit of it and like I said, after it's all like well blended, you're just gonna wanna take a little bit of it and set right under your eye. 
especially on your eye. You want to set everywhere, but like make sure it's especially set on your eye because you want this makeup to last pretty much all day. I also like really like to set my forehead and everything. Remember, you're not going to go for like a natural glowy makeup look for this. You want to have like full coverage, matte, like it's staying on all day. Like don't try to go natural, okay? Um, so once I have that kind of just, you know, on there, I like to, I do my eyebrows and I recommend that you guys do. I, my, my, my eyebrow routines kind of get, I'll use eyeshadow for it, but I use like brown and black eyeshadow. Obviously make sure it matches your, um, your eyebrow shade and I'm just gonna like lightly fill it in I just don't have like really pronounced eyebrows and I want it to look like that I know you guys can notice a difference I'm just like showing you anyways while I do this did you guys see that like splash mountain closed that's really sad and it's all over my for you page on tiktok with the saddest edits and I know it's so stupid to be crying over a disney ride but I literally love that ride because I am a wimp when it comes to roller coasters. So that was like the only thing I'd ever get on. Okay, my eyebrows are done. Now for the face, like for like what's going on your face. Make sure you have bronzer, blush, and you want to have gold highlighter. Bronzer, make sure it's not too dark for your skin. I use this one. Like it's supposed to make you look bronzier. So don't try to go for like anything too dark and then it's going to look really weird. But you want to focus it on, like, almost like, don't try to suck in your cheeks and put it right here, because that's just going to drag your face down. I go, like, right where my cheekbone actually starts. And then I go, like, that's where, where my cheekbone starts is where I put the bottom. So it would be, like, higher up, you know? And that's just going to give you a really, like, lifted look. And try to be light with this. I don't want you, like, just, like, you know, just, just be light with it. It'll, it'll blend, I swear. I go on my forehead, too. And like you can already tell the difference like i look not only lifted but like there's color back in my face i'm trying to do this fast realistically for the people who haven't been doing makeup for that long it's gonna take longer than this so when you wake up in the morning to get your makeup done don't go by how long this is taking okay because i guarantee you it's gonna take longer it's probably gonna take longer for me too because i'm gonna be precise with it so I do my forehead too, and you want to make sure it's like really noticeable. Like I kid you not, like even if you think it's too much, this is stage makeup. You're going to look like a psycho up close, but from far away and under all the stage lightings, the judges are going to be able to see what you look like. And that's also important why we have facials while we perform because you're going to like make everything more intense. Okay. I also go just a little bit on my nose because it's just like a good base for what's next. Okay. After that, you're going to want to take blush. Now, I have a lot of different options for blush. I use a putty blush. I have a palette too that I recommend. If you're darker shade, use a purplish to a, like almost like a dark mauve. If you're lighter or like neutral like me, any like sort of like pink or peach tone will work. Doesn't have to be anything crazy. And then I'm just gonna take this blush and if you're using a putty one like obviously use this i don't recommend using putty after um powder but to be honest i forgot my palette in the other room and i can't pause this and i don't want to have you guys staring at like a wall for no reason anyways so you're gonna want to put this don't put it at the apples of your cheeks going circles no again everything is lifted so right above your contour or your bronzer you're just gonna do this right above that and bring it all the way up to your temples and don't bring it too much to the center of your face just again everything should be extreme like if you can't see it from a mile away you're doing it wrong okay and the makeup look had a little bit on her nose but not too much it just brings like life back to you okay I kid you not, y'all. This has got to be crazy. I don't know if this does anything, but I just go with the Beauty Blender over just to make sure everything's even. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's just me or like 
the placebo effect, whatever. Anyways, then you're going to want to take a fan brush for this is for highlighter. A fluffy fan brush like this is exactly what you need, okay? Don't try to do highlighter with this. Don't try to do highlighter with this or anything like this. It's not going to work. You want one of these. It's called a fan brush. You can get them for like really cheap at a makeup store. And what you're going to want to do is go for a gold highlighter. This one's jacked up and I have another one. But as you can see, like I want to use this one. This is gold. Like I don't know if you can kind of see like the essence of this one. But this one was white. This one's really dark. This one's gold. You want that one. Don't, please don't show up a silver highlighter or anything like that. That's not going to look good for the show. Highlighter has to be blinding. Like, you're going to want to cake it on. Like, I kid you not. Yeah, see how that's, like, insane? Highlighter goes above the blush, literally closer to your eye, but, like, below your eye bag. So at the very top of your cheekbone is where you're going to want to highlight. And don't try to drag it all the way down your face. Just go for it, like, right there. Again, I know it's, like, insane right now. It's it's really, like, noticeable. But again, I cannot stress that enough. That's what you want. Going back to bronzer for a second. Lightly contour your nose. And the way you do that is just literally, like, going, like, a little, like, over your nose. All your, like, with bronzer. That's the way that the makeup look had. If you don't do this, don't do it insanely, but if you don't do it, it's just gonna look really like flat there. And that's not really what we want. And I'm just using like a like a small fluffy brush to do that. So perfect. And then again, highlighter on your nose. For the nose highlighter, I use like a really small dense brush like this. Going with the gold. Put it at the tip of my nose and bring it up. Okay, perfect. Again, I know I look crazy, but whatever. I'm just gonna add a little more blush, just a little bit, ignore that. Okay, anyways, swag. Um, then I am going to take, pardon, okay. Now it's time for the eyes. Now this is not that hard, but pay attention. Starting off, I have the e.l.f. Colourpop by the Rose palette. You can use the blush one, like the baby blush one. That one's really good too. Those two palettes. These are the colors you need. You want like a pink, pinkish, stuff like that. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, you want pinker tones. And then also you want like a really light one, almost white. So starting off with this shade right here, I have the shade Sunny or Sunday Sorry. I'm taking a fluffy brush, tapping that in, tapping off the excess. And from like around where my eye socket starts, I'm just putting that color all in there loosely and bringing it a little bit towards my eyebrow bone, like all right there and bringing it out almost like that shape. And then just blend that, like just keep blending it. You don't want it to be too harsh. Go in like circular motions. Same thing for the other side. Blend and we're blending. Sorry about background noise. I don't know if you guys can hear that. So then I'm going to take the lighter shade, wipe off your brush before you go into the next one, if you have, if you don't have enough brushes, but anyways, taking the lighter shade and picnic basket and going closer to my brow bone, this is again just going to make it all blend really nicely, just lightly. Okay, then with the darker shade in... I don't know how to say that. Effervescence, whatever. I'm going in even, actually, go in with a denser brush like this one. With that shade, I'm going just really close. Just like that, barely blending it out. 
Like, you don't want a harsh line or anything, but you don't want to bring it up to your brow bone either. Um... And I'm just going to bum that out with this um, brush to make it fluffier, you know, whatever. Um, slightly go underneath with a pink shade to your eye. Not, don't do it intensely. Just like literally by your waterline. Add pink. It just brings the whole thing together. Then I'm going to take a flat brush, a dense flat one, as you can see, and we're gonna do a gold cut crease, I guess you could call it. I have the ColourPop one in Harmony. It's a little broken. I just bought it, which is sad, but whatever. It's like a really nice gold shade. Just dip in, completely coat the brush, like entirely. Hold on. Like coat the brush and go in like right. You see how there's a fold like in everyone's eyelid, obviously like your eyelid. You're just gonna go like right there on it. <laughs> this is kind of funny to do. Um, hold on, let me get more. Same thing for the other side. I kind of stop like halfway and my eye don't go around the entire eyelid, but just make sure that it's noticeable. Like you don't want it to be like, it has to be noticeable. I mean, the theme is golden hour, so make sure that the gold shows, you know? Okay. And then just like lightly blend it out, whatever. Okay, now that we have this, take a smaller brush. This is a very specific eye look, I'm sorry, but you're gonna take a small brush, similar to the one that we use for our nose, and you're gonna wanna go in with a really light highlighter, almost like a white one. And that, all this is gonna go is just at the inner corner. Bring it a little up and a little down, just at the inner corner. It does not go anywhere else. That's all you need that shade for. Okay, cute. Then, um, so that's pretty much it for the eye look part, but like that's just it for the eyeshadow, but we still have eyeliner, lashes, and mascara, and all that stuff. So for eyeliner, I recommend using a waterproof one because it's just better. Now you have the funniest thing right now. Oh, here it is. Oh, thank God. I thought I couldn't find it. Whew, my heart dropped. I just used the e.l.f. one. I'm going to get a new one, though, because it's not waterproof. But I'm just going to show you how to do it. So liquid liners are always better than pencil ones for doing a wing. Don't try to do a wing with pencil one. It's not going to work. You're going to want to use a liquid eyeliner. I don't care if it's liquid or a felt tip, but not a pencil. You're going to start where your eye comes to, like, the point. Go up. Now, I have... A lot of experience with eyeliner because I used to wear it every day so please if it does not go good first time do not be upset starting from the little line that we just made you're gonna bring it down like that and start connecting it to like the middle of your eye everybody's eye is different with eyeliner you just want it to like go up don't try to do like you know like the straight emo eyeliner that's not the look that we want for this show so i'm just gonna do the same thing for the other one going out and then just like connecting it you know okay yeah that seems about right perfect then 
And I'm gonna be honest, y'all. I don't have my eyelashes right now, but if I did, I'm gonna show you how to do it. I have my lash glue. I'm gonna open it up. I like this lash glue a lot. This one's actually really good. Open it up. Looks like this. You're going to want to apply the eye, like that lash glue directly on the lash band. Wait for it to get tacky. Do not try to put it on right away. It's not gonna work. Wait a couple, like, may, wait like a minute or two, like no kidding, for it to get sticky. And then close your eye or like slightly close it and just put it right on your lash line. It's gonna take a few tries. So don't worry if it's not perfect right away, but pretend I have them on. Thank you. Um, I'm gonna go in with mascara right now. I use the Lash Paradise one from L'Oreal. And I'm gonna be honest, this one's not waterproof, but it actually is. Like I've worn this in water, I can't get it off normally. I have to use like micellar water. It's not supposed to be waterproof, but it is. So this one's actually really good. Um, yeah, just make sure it's waterproof. Like we're gonna be sweating. I hope not crying, but if we are, we don't want our makeup to move. So just, I mean, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys know how to apply mascara. So just, just, just put it on. Also, I'm going through my Gravity Falls phase again. Like, I never left that phase. This is so random. I never left that phase. But it's, like, coming back more than ever. It's always been my favorite show. And, like, yeah, it just makes me sad that it ended. I saw this TikTok of someone in, like, the Pacific Northwest, like, in Oregon, literally. And they were, like, had the audio of the last thing Dipper said in the last episode, and it made me cry. I'm a very emotional person, I'm noticing that, oh my god. Anyways. Eh. So it's gonna look better when you have big lashes on. Try to make them dramatic, don't make them like, drag queen dramatic. But you want them to be noticeable. Okay, last but not least, the lipstick. So just a dark, dark lipstick. I, if you guys don't have it, cause I, on Amazon it's sold out and I went to um, Ulta and they said that they stopped making that color. So I don't know what we're gonna do about that. But if you guys ha happen to have the lipstick, I mean like share. I don't know if y'all wanna do that, but just share. So for now I'm gonna mix a couple. I mean, putting on lipstick is pretty straightforward, but we're not just doing this. I'm gonna show you what to do after, so. Also, like, if you have a Cupid's bow, don't try to get rid of it. Like, again, we're not going for, like, trendy makeup or whatever. Okay. No, hold on. And then I'm just gonna make it darker because it has to be insane. Oh, well, I need you to go. You recording? Mm hmm. I'm sorry. Okay, bye. It's my room that you should think. Okay, stop. Here you go, please. Thank Can you. Can I cross over a bit? No, I'll come. I'm almost done. <laughs> Mom, please. Ignore that. Okay. Be nice, see how she treats me? Okay. So, like I said, the makeup's gotta be dark. Well, just the lipstick. So once that's done, we're not done yet. Clement wants us to have gold in the center of our lips. So I take the same eyeshadow that you had, a different brush or whatever. Like I said, I'm using the ColourPop. Um, and super shock shadow in the shade harmony in the shade harmony it's like that gold and then just take it and apply it just to the center 
like the inside of your lips, I guess I could say. Like the inside of your lips. I'm almost done. Okay. Hold on. Okay, swag. Now, at this stage, I want you to look at yourself in the mirror and think, do I need to add anything else to my face? As in more br blush, bronze, or highlighter. Blush is the first thing to fall off your face, so I recommend going ham on that. But remember, I don't want you guys to try to make it natural. All of this has to be really like crazy. So I'm looking at me right now, I have to add more blush. And like a lot more, so. Looking at it again, more highlighter as well. Okay, now, when I am happy with the way that it all looks, um, where did it go? Hmm. Wait, real quick. This again. So once you're happy with the way it all looks, you don't think you need to add anything, you have your lashes on. I'm gonna have my lashes for the comp, so don't worry. Um, I want you to take a setting spray. Any setting spray will work. I like the e.l.f. setting spray, and I use the MAC Fix Plus one, but you guys don't have to use anything like expensive. Any drugstore one really works. Just make sure it's one that like will like make it last all day. Like don't use like a dewy setting spray or anything like that. Just take it. Um, like saturate your face, okay. Now I take a pan and I just like I make sure that it's like cold and everything. Not cold, but like dry. Um, takes a minute. Okay, anyways. So that is the finished look. You guys can go back and watch anything if you need it. But this is what it should look like. Cute. I kind of like it, I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god, it's kind of giving. Okay, anyways. Yeah, that's what it looks like in good lighting. Anyways, thank you for watching. Come back to my channel. Bye.